So this is basically our advertisement for um, Dynacorn uh, products because this is not the first time that I've had this problem. Um, this is actually the fifth or sixth time that I've ran into serious problems with their products. Uh, mostly on Mustangs, believe it or not, and they're supposed to be like the Mustang Groovers. Now I guess if you bought a Dynacorn body that is full of aftermarket body parts and the whole car is made out of aftermarket stuff, um, you know, maybe the stuff fits good, but uh, as far as taking a Dynacorn uh, uh, quarter panel and putting it on a factory OEM car like you're looking at right here, no, it doesn't work because this is the situation you run into right here. So what is the conclusion to our quarter panel nightmare? What are we going to do about this situation? Well, we got two choices. We can go ahead and fabricate this quarter panel to work. We can go ahead and do that, and I can make it look very, very nicely, and, and, and you'll never know. But I'm not going to do that because my friend Pete uh, I'm, I'm not going to do that, okay? There's no way that I'm going to do that. Uh, so what I have done to relieve the situation and hopefully fix the problem is I went ahead and bought another quarter panel. Now, this is a totally different brand quarter panel. This is not a Dynacorn. This is an AMD quarter panel. And we're going to go ahead and flip this quarter panel over and we're going to look and see what's the difference between this quarter panel versus our Dynacord quarter panel. Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie the Body Shop Girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. quarter panel off the car and I'm going to show you some of the features that are better on the AMD panel than they are on the Dynacorn. This of course is our Dynacorn right here and this is our AMD quarter panel. The first thing that you're going to notice is the metal is a lot heavier and a lot thicker. All right? Uh, you can tell by the you can tell by the way that it flexes and moves that the metal on the AMD quarter panel is a lot stronger, sturdier, and, and constructed better. Another thing that we're going to look at is the length of it. Now when I had all this bolted together, I went ahead and I measured the quarter panel out. That's after I separated it, of course. And then I also measured the quarter panel on the right hand side. I found some uh, intricate measuring points to make sure that I get the same points on this. So when I measured out that quarter panel, which is all factory original, over on the right hand side, it came out to, I believe, 62 and an eighth of an inch or some shit like that. I don't, maybe it was 64. I don't know, but it was something to that effect. So when I measured this quarter panel out on the bottom here, which is our AMD, it measured out to almost be the exact measurement as the factory. Now, when I measured this quarter panel out, when it was screwed on the car, over there, when it was screwed on the car, and after I split it in half, this quarter panel here, all right, literally measured out to be almost identically the exact same measurement as this one, not split. Now, we couldn't get 100% accuracy with this because we had split it in half, but it came very close. So that was another factor that told us that this quarter panel, sorry, this one right here is junk. Now, let's go ahead and walk you through a couple of the uh, situations that I found on Dynacorn versus AMD 
and I'll let you be the judge on which one's the better of the two. So if we look at our quarter panel, this is actually our uh, trunk lip right here, and then we're going to come around here. This is where our tail light panel would go, and then this would be the floor extension, which is the lower section of our quarter panel. Let's go ahead and start with that. If you look at this, uh, the tooling of this situation right here, you can see it's nice and crisp, nice and sharp in this area, and it looks professionally done, and it all looks like it is uh, uh, going to be a nice tight fit. When we come over to the Dynacorn one, you can see how this lip is very wavy, and it is uneven. It doesn't have a sharp curve over here to match up with our uh, extension floor like the original one. And, it's pro and if I remember right, it's just about a, a half an inch or an inch longer than it should be. Another thing we want to look at is look at this right here. You can see the nice sharp curve where everything fits. And once again, you can see where it ends right here. So you're going to have some kind of air pocket or hole going on. And then it has this extra metal right here, which we won't even need, which will be hanging over. If we look in this area right here on our AMD panel, you can see that this is a nice clean cut section here. It has a nice, uh, nice contoured round edge and it looks like our panel will fit like it's supposed to once we put it up with the other panel. Whereas we come over to the Dynacorn uh, quarter panel and you can see that this is way too long. It's got some kind of hole here. I don't know what that's for. And you can also see where it's already wavy and bending and separating apart. And then if we swing around over to this side, this will be our door jam area. This is where the latch goes that hooks to our uh, 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 door. That's the door latch. I want you to look and see how nice this is formed out here. The machining and the tooling on it is in very, very good shape. Let's take a look at this one here. And this is our Dynacorn. You can see how it looks like it's big and flat, and then it just goes to nothing right here. All right? These are the same way. Look how it starts fading out on this X section right here. And then pay close attention to the wrinkles where they bent their metal on the Dynacorn right here where it goes around the curve versus the curve on the AMD. So that's just a few specs and I'm sure if we dissected it longer and did our research even farther we would find out that the Dynacorn, which is this one right here, let me get it out. Okay. This is our Dynacorn piece of shit. Okay. And then one more thing uh, I wanted to point out, uh, I won't bring the camera over here, but I'm going to tell you, is right here where the, the window um, rubber would go. In this area right here, of course, this is our door jam, remember? And then this is the, the, the weather strip that would screw on here. Look real close. There's no screw holes, no lineup holes at all on our... Uh, door jam opening on the uh, yeah Dynacorn. But if we look on the AMD quarter panel, you can see that it's already got the holes pre-drilled and ready for installation of our rubber seal that goes on the vehicle. One more thing I'd like to point out, and uh, let's go ahead and look at this. This is where our quarter window would roll up into the car. All right, does this have a quarter window on it? Yes, it does. It does have a quarter window. So this is where your fill channel will go. I want you to pay close attention. You can see this extra metal that comes down just like a factory original quarter panel would. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and remove this quarter panel. And I'm going to show you a little bit of this action here. And we want to make sure everybody's getting a square deal out there because that's what it's all about over here at SWRC is to make sure that you're not getting ripped off. Because if it's one thing I can't fucking stand is a thief. I don't give a shit if he breaks in my shop and steals everything I got or he rips me up selling me junk ass parts and goes to sleep with a conscience. I don't know how they do it. Or I trust him with money that I give him for a product or a service and he fucks me in the ass. To me, a thief is a thief and that's all there is to it. And I want you 
to pay close attention right there. Look at that lip. You can see it right here. Okay, there's nothing there that generates factory OEM style. Um, it's just a straight cut piece, and it probably wouldn't even fucking hold the metal that we need to hold the seal the proper way, because I'll bet you $100, these things right here are probably in the wrong place. So, there's your Dynacorn. And there's your AMD. I'll let you be the judge of what you should use on your Camaro or whatever car you're working on. And make sure to do your P's and Q's and don't get fucked in the ass like my friend Pete did. This has been a very, very serious joke. It's been a sham from the fucking beginning and it's been ridiculous. So now that we're past that angle of what's going on here, I will go ahead and trim the quarter panel, the AMD quarter panel, I will trim and cut and fit that in to place the same way I did the, the Dynarot, okay, Dynarot junk piece of shit corn, um, and we'll get that fit in there where it will fit on there the way that I want it to fit, and when we come back, we'll go ahead and install it. If I run into problems on the way, I will let you know what the hell's going on right here at DIY Auto School, SWRNC, because I don't hold back, okay? I don't hide shit and make it look like I'm perfect. If I have problems, you're going to see the problems. If I cause the problem, I'm going to show you the problem I had. Because if you want to learn the right way, show them everything you got and don't be a shim sham about it. Speaking of shim sham, um, I've had some questions of why I'm not going up here with the quarter panel. Why? What's your reason for not doing that when you got it? Um, we got several reasons here. I'm going to go ahead and point them out. Number one, if I go up here, and I think I already pointed this out, but this is one of the main reasons I'm going to tell you that last. I'd have to go into the window here and uh, replace it there. Number two is I'd have to go through the uh, drip rail here and replace it there. But the main reason, I'm not going all the way up there, the main reason is because of the lead, okay? And the reason I want to keep that with the lead in it is because that will be a factory spot if this guy ever sells this car or it becomes, you know, a billion dollar car, one of these cars overnight that turns out to be a $500,000 car. That's one of the specific places that professionals that are in the game of collecting look. They want to know if there's lead there or if that quarter panel's been bondoed. So it's very important when you replace these quarter panels to leave this line on here right here is to keep that factory weld that goes down into the trunk line there. You want to keep that. And you also have that factory weld right there. This is very, very important to keep if it is possible. You want to keep this section here if possible because this is lead, okay? This is a very, very important situation. And then last but not least is keeping our structure down here by the rocker panel, all factory original. And then, of course, if you got a door that closes like that, you definitely don't want to replace the inside of the door jam. And one more thing, since I've been doing a lot of it, I want to go ahead and mention the word talk. I actually talk a lot. Well, guess what? And I think I've already said this. You ain't gonna f***ing learn if I don't talk. You won't learn if I just sit there and do the job and not explain. That's one of the most important things, look what I got, that we can do. Who is we? We is me, myself, and I. We is you when you're looking at yourself in the mirror. No one's gonna do shit for you. You're gonna have to do it all by yourself because we, right here, are the only that will do it right. Because if you ain't doing it right and doing it right, then you ain't doing it at all. This is Pete, DIY Auto School, right here, showing you facts and only facts. And yeah, we, right here. Thanks for watching DIY Automotive School. Classes don't stop till you know everything.